Hello, hello. It is Catherine Massell here. Hello, how are you? Your intuitive energy healer, spiritual growth catalyst, and sunny earth creatrix. Hello. Bear with me for a moment while I share this video. Facebook and then we shall get started okay hi Svetlana hello 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 glad you are here I'm glad you are joining live so if you are here and joining live let me know you're here let me know where you're watching from if you feel like sharing um, if you are watching the replay, you can just throw in hashtag replay so I know that you are watching. I'd like to know how many people actually caught this live versus the replay. Um, so we are in day one of embodying your future self. This is a three-day event. Hi, Courtney. This is a three-day event happening today, uh, tomorrow which is today is Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, same time, and then uh, Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We're gonna be doing three different really powerful energy activations. We're gonna be doing today, expanding your vessel, which is one of my favorite overall energetic resets, and it allows you to do exactly what the title says, expand your vessel. When you are expanding all of the energetic fields of your body and grounding and protecting them, because we always do that and we want to expand the vessel, because we want to align with the integrity of the energy that we want to call in. So if we want to call in more expansive, loving, kind, merciful, beautiful, expanded, abundant, prosperous energy, we want to expand our vessel and sort of clear and reset the energy there so that we are priming the space energetically to call that in so that we are a better receptor and that the the whole idea behind embodying your future self and also this is a big part of the heal awake and align boot camp is getting yourself in energetic alignment with that which you're calling in if you're live say that you're here tell me where you're from please say hello Svetlana's from Moscow beautiful hello what time is it in Moscow I don't know my time zones very well. I should, actually, since I have some clients all over the world, but I don't have any in Moscow. Um, the whole reason behind embodying your future self is to understand that we are multidimensional manifestors because when we are actively embodying our future self, that self that we would like to be, that we are fashioning ourselves towards, that we are creating and in the process of creating new ways of being, it is 8 p.m. there. Well, thank you for, for joining us so close to bedtime, Svetlana. Embodying your future self is about being able to get into that aspect of who you are and what you are creating as if you're feeling it right now. And this is, in my opinion, one of the things that is very difficult to understand about uh, the way we manifest now and that we are multidimensional beings and we have several different access points of awareness at once. So you're going to come to understand that a little bit more uh, between today and tomorrow and Friday, I hope. And if you are really wanting to take that even further and create from this really liberated level of, of, of manifestation and creation, then you will really like the Heal, Awaken, Align Bootcamp. So this is being brought to you to give you a taste of what the Heal, Awaken, Align Bootcamp is. I hesitate to call it a manifesting course, even though that is in essence, part of it, but it's not the whole story. We are manifesting in 5D. We are learning how to create from different multidimensional aspects at once. We have different access points of awareness where we can be in that now moment of awareness. When you are embodying your future self, and we're kind of priming the space for that here today, and we'll start getting into more of that tomorrow and on Friday. When you are embodying your future self, you are in the essence then. You are occupying fully the essence of that which you are trying to create. So that it's easier for you to make that time jump, if you will, which is another method I teach you in the Heal, Awaken, Align Bootcamp, the time jump manifestation method. is something that I've used to create um, 
exponentially um, larger <laughs> amounts of income in my business. It's helped me to draw in my soulmate ideal clients because it helps you to time jump into your future self and not only be like a battery, a charged battery, battery between you and your present form and you and your future self and exchange information in that way, but it also allows you to occupy your future self and live as if, or be in the essence as if, what you want has already manifested. You have already got it. We have a really time when we're trying to wrap our minds around manifesting, getting to this space energetically. And that truly what is creation in 5D. It's essence being created into form. It's taking the energetic and allowing the imprint of that take form on the 3D plane, which is where we manifest here, even though we can kind of play in other dimensions to bring that manifestation in on this plane. And I know this sounds really out there. I know it sounds really crazy, but here's the thing about me, especially if you're tuning in and you have not had any experience with me, you haven't really listened to any of my lives or anything like that. What I'm really good at doing is taking some of these rather nebulous and out there concepts and being able to give you ways of understanding it, to have this information land with you right here where you are right now. And it doesn't matter if you are really spiritually evolved. It doesn't matter if you've been on this journey of spiritual evolution and awakening for a long time in your life. I have a way of being able to translate that information in so that it can land with you and you can understand it on a level right where you are right now. I love to teach. I like to teach people at, at, at every different spectrum of their, of their spiritual awakening and understanding. And I like to think that, and my clients seem to think so too, that I have a good way of breaking these concepts down and talking about them so that you can understand them and giving you examples. And largely it is because the way I access information, when I'm talking to you, I'm not necessarily having this wisdom or knowledge or information come from me, rather it comes through me. Now it's like a potpourri of my experience and my wisdom from teaching and the knowledge of working in this field, let's just say for 16, 17 years now, but it's also that I, I am largely a channel. I don't like to use that word because I feel it's overused and abused and it's not, it doesn't really hit the mark on exactly what I do. Instead, let's just say I'm a multi-consciousness bridge. So that when I'm speaking to you right now in the present moment, it is a, a blend, kind of an amalgam of what I know from where I come from and also I am fully opening or expanded in my vessel, if you will to be a pure and clear conduit of energies to have information come through me to you, okay? And I always do this, and anyone can do this, by the way. I am not special, okay? I know that there are um, healers and channels out there who say that, you know, this is only, this is assigned to a, a few, a select few people on the planet. I think that that's BS, to tell you the truth. I think that if you create that intention to do this and to have this ability, you can certainly do it. Now this has taken years of um, working on my intuitive levels and accessing different um, consciousnesses, plural. <laughs> and I've taken that intention of doing this and made it, um, really made it something that I studied and got very, very um, adept at, let's just say. So that's a little bit about me. So. If you are not familiar with me and you want to be more familiar with me, first of all, if you're not watching from my Ascended Earth Creatrix group, you may want to join that group. So my Ascending Earth Creatrix group, I will give you the link to that. And if you are, and this is for the empowered female who really wants to understand that journey of ascension that we are all on and to make more sense out of it. And if you are a healer, light worker, way shower, light bearer, you are more than welcome in this group and you're more than welcome to share and promo. I know that a lot of people um, don't like to have groups that promo, but it's not a problem in my group, so, so I don't make it a problem. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So here is the link for my group if you want to join us there. I also have, and I'll share this in the comments later on, I have a podcast, the Abundant Intuitive Podcast. So if you like these activations, there are many, many more on my Abundant Intuitive Podcast, and you can find that on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. I'm sure there's some other ones out there that carry it. Um, and I will also share the direct link 
for my podcast on Libsyn for you here. I also have a YouTube channel. Lots of energy activations, um, all kinds of talks and chats about spirituality, intuition, manifesting, um, ascension, multidimensional awareness, all kinds of stuff like that. So if you're interested in things like that, do check out those resources. It's all free. And if you go to my website, katherinemissell.com, you go to meditations and alignments, there's also some links to some free guided meditations there too. If you, if you like what I'm sharing with you today, then you will definitely like all these resources. So why am I doing this? Why am I sharing this information with you about embodying your future self? As I mentioned in the beginning of the broadcast here today, one of the things that we have a great amount of difficulty with, um, especially if you have been, let's just say, listening to Abraham Hicks for a long time. I'm a big fan. I've been listening pretty much since they came on the scene. Um, Abraham talks quite a bit about being in the vortex, being in the essence, essentially. Being in the vortex means being in that place as if everything that you want, everything that you're creating has already manifested. It's already made manifest and made form in the vortex. But the problem is we have a problem walking through that door. We have a problem moving into that energetic space or even feeling like we can. We are so identified by our very dense energetic form here in 3D that we think that this is all there is. Now, many of us have notions that we have divinity, we have spirit, we have soul, we have an energetic that runs through us that goes beyond the understanding of what can be seen or, or touched or known here in 3D, yes. So we have this idea of the soul or spirit or source or our connection to it, but we often don't understand that we are source. It's not something that just runs through us and is a part of us. It is every part of our being and it is available for our access at all times. And when we understand that we are engaged in, in this life, in this sandbox that is our 3D experience here on the earth plane, we understand that there is never any separation here from source except what we feel when we solely identify with a physical body, okay? That's why expanding your vessel is such a powerful way to introduce you to these concepts because it takes us within the physical body, but then it takes us out and it allows us to expand the physical body out and understand we understand that there are many energetic sheets, many um, energetic fields within and without the physical body that we can tap into and have access points of consciousness in at any given time we wish. So it, it is my true hope and desire that you will take this expanding your vessel exercise and do it on your own often to get yourself into that idea of I am more than just my my 3D form. I am more than what I can touch and feel. And the identity of who you are, certainly your divinity and your cosmic being, goes well beyond what you can know or, or experience just in the confines of a physical body. Okay? So give me a heart if you know what I'm talking about so far. I don't want to lose you guys. I want to make sure that this is also a place if you have questions about what I'm talking about or some of the concepts that I'm I'm bringing in here, please do ask questions. I'm very good at being able to, again, break this stuff down and talk about it. Let me get some water. Groovy. So I'm doing this because I want you to understand how easy it can be to just jump from different awarenesses, to inhabit or embody different levels of consciousness. And if you watch that video I shared the other day here in the group that time is an illusion, watch that. It's a quick video and he does a really good job of explaining. He doesn't hit all the points about multidimensional awareness, but it's pretty concise. And that helps you to understand when you watch that little video. It's Jesse Elder and um, I could probably tag the video in here somewhere. But he's talking about time being an illusion in the sense that, which is something I truly believe, and I've had many, many glimpses and experiences with this personally, especially with um, working with Hathor and the Hathors, who introduced the time jump manifestation method to me. They really helped me in working with them and tapping into their consciousness and their council energetic, I call it. it they really helped me to understand that 
the past, the present, and future are actually all existing at the same time, and we have different points of access within that. So when we are thinking about something in the past versus something that's happening right now versus something that's happening in the future, it is a remembering, which means you can remember something in the future. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, you are thinking about something you're getting very clear about, and this is the first thing that we are doing in Heal, Awake, and Align Boot Camp. I'm going to take you through an exercise that gets you in crystal clear mode about what it is that you want. Because this force, this force, this course is focused on what you want to create. Meaning, we're going to start at the outside of this course with what it is that you want to create, getting you crystal clear about what that is, and helping you to move along on that journey of creating and to enjoy it and to have all the tools that you need and the resources to bring this in by unifying the heart and the mind. This is really important. This is what 5D creation and manifesting is all about. You have to unify what's in the heart with what is in the mind. You have to align the subtle realm with the physical. This is how we create. This is how we create seamlessly. And this is how we rebalance all of our energies. So when you're thinking about, with crystal clarity, what you want to be, so if you say, I want a new career, and you know what that is, let's say you're applying for this job, you're one of the candidates that is up for a new position, and you can see yourself in this position. You can see your day-to-day, -day, let's just say, sitting at your new fabulous desk, you have a team of people that you work with and maybe even you know delegate to, and you're working with them, and you're working on a project, and you can see yourself in that space, and it's so powerful that you could almost reach out and feel it and see it and touch it and taste it and understand every single part of the essence of that. What you are doing, essentially, when you are crystal clear in that way, you are remembering your future. So we are that powerful as creators that we create an imprint right away when we can get into the essence or the feeling space of what that future self, your future self, looks like, feels like, what the air feels like around you. You may, you may even have a smell. If you go into this visual, you may even be able to smell the office or smell the papers on your desk. That is the essence that we're trying to get to because this is how we telegraph a crystal clear message to the universe saying, I am that. That is how we fully occupy. I'm sure you've heard the, the, the term, the I am presence. I am that which I am is a powerful statement which implies to the universe, I am God in a body. I am the creator of my experience, no matter what. When you occupy that space energetically, you are a limitless creator of your experience. There is limitless potential available to you. If you believe this, now that's a whole other thing. We have to believe this. But because we have identified, let's just say, so long with the ego, and with the ego's story of who we are, the ego's story of our identity, we only think that this is all, this is all there is. This is all, this is all there is. This is all there is. What I can see, what I can touch, what I can pick up, what I can hold, it is only part of the story. It is one access point of your consciousness. That's it. There are infinite access points of your consciousness, including your future self which when you go into that place of crystal clarity and you access the full essence of that feeling, of that being in that space, you are remembering your future. Meaning, somewhere at some access point, it has already come to pass. It already is. That's how quickly we, we create in the vortex, if you want to call it that. That is how powerful we are as creators. So, who's getting excited about what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, if this lights you up, when I'm, why I'm doing this, and this is just a taste of what you're going to experience in the Heal, Awaken, Align Bootcamp, which starts on June 4th. We start at 11 a.m. Pacific time. All the calls will be recorded. The first time we meet, we might meet for close to two hours because we want to cover a lot of ground. We're going to do a lot of energy clearing. We're going to do a lot of healing because we have to prime our energetic vessel. What we're experiencing today with expanding your vessel is taking us where we are and expanding it out, okay? So we're not doing an energy healing or a clearing here. But in the first couple weeks of the course, we are going to be doing a lot of energy healing and a lot of clearing, okay? Because we have to prime our energetic vessel to receive. We are, in order to be 
uh, powerful creators, we must be in that place of receptivity. We have to be in that resistance-free zone. So a large part also of what we're doing in Heal Awaken Align Bootcamp is making sure that you are in that resistance-free zone. Because when you embody that future self, you've already created it. You're already remembering your future, yes? So if you are not, your job then is to be in that place of receiving it. This is something that women have a very difficult time with. I wish it wasn't the case. I did a live in here not that long ago about when I used to take more male clients. Not only could they be crystal clear about, that, about what they wanted to create, and they knew what that end game was all about. They knew what they looked like. They knew what their lives were going to look like. They knew, what, they knew what they were going to have. They knew what kind of people they were going to be surrounded by. And the amount of information that they had about what they were creating, the crystal clarity, like the distilling, that crystallizing of the essence of what they want, the amount of clarity they had was astonishing. And when I work with women, on the other hand, <laughs> It's a little bit different. No, actually, it's a lot different. I don't know. I don't know. Or we shape what we want based on what we think we should want. We should want a family. And I'm not, I'm not crapping on anyone's experience about what they do want. I'm just saying that women will often fashion what they want or what they think they want from what they think they should want based on a whole bunch of constructs through peer pressure, what your family wants, where you came from, um, the modeling of behavior from peers, friends, family, etc. right? Hi, Carolyn. So it's a little bit different. So we have to, and then without that clarity, we have a really hard time being in that place of then being receptive. Because if we're not willing to step up and ask for what we truly want, it's a really good chance we're not willing to step up and be in a place of receiving it when it does come in. Let's just say we get the crystal clarity. Let's just say we have this very, very crystallized vision of what we want, but then we're afraid to receive it, or we don't know how to occupy that space of receiving it. We have shame and guilt and all this kind of, um, all of these, what's the word I'm looking for? Blocks, barriers built up around receiving based on thinking we're not worthy, we don't believe in ourselves, and all that stuff is crap, I can tell you that. And especially when you're trying to call in more abundance, let's just say more financial abundance, more money. Money has nothing to do with your self-worth. Money is just an energy. Money is just anything else. Money is just any other form of energy, just like anything else. Just like this mouse right here. It just holds an energy. The, the use that you have for this mouse is what you assign its value. It's how you assign its value, right? How you assign value to money or what you think it's done or how it's been tainted by how your family is, have, have used it, how, how people in society have used it, how people in power have used it, you are imprinting all of your feelings about that onto money. Money on its own, it's just money. It's just an energy, right? And so we're doing a special money um, boot camp also after. It's going to be a two-hour add-on. So there's a lot of bonuses here. So that brings us to the next part. So the promo offer that I've got going on just for these three days while I'm doing Embodying Your Future Self, if you sign up for the full price, you will get lifetime access, first of all, to my mastermind, Heal, Awaken, Ascend Mastermind, which has been going for almost a year now. And I'm going to stop doing it live at the end of June, but you will have a lifetime access to 12 months of energy activation. So at last count, there were 85 energy healings and activations, alignments, empowerments, and attunements in there, including up to 36 strand DNA activations. There's a whole host of stuff in there. And when I finally get the PDF file finished, I'll post it. So if you guys want to sign up and get this bonus of the 85 plus energy healings, activations, and alignments, you have lifetime access to it. It's over a $700 value. When you total it, probably a lot more than that, but I'm being I'm being really modest <laughs> in the value of that. So you have access to those activations and you can listen to them anytime you want. You're added to a Facebook group where you can take part in these activations anytime you wish. I'm gonna leave this group open so that you'll be able to access them. Um, if you also want to work more on your money story, there is a bonus money bootcamp that's an extra two hour money bootcamp. So if you sign up for the 797 price today, paying at the full price, you get that bonus of the lifetime access of the 85 plus energy healings and activations over a $700 value. And then you also get 
the money mastermind that I'm going to be sharing with you. It's how I went basically from doubling my monthly income inside of a week and I'm about to triple it for this month and hopefully we'll um, be able to get you to a place where you can change your money story and I'm going to bring you some tools, some embodiment exercises, some mindset exercises as well as some energy healing in this two hour bonus money boot camp. So, bringing us to the point at hand, which is expanding your vessel. It is an amazing offer. So, I want to make sure that I'm sharing the link. So, you can read all about the bootcamp and sign up. This is going to go away at the end of uh, Friday night. It goes away. So, if you are serious about getting into this, Mm -hmm. Let's just see if I can find, there I am. All right. So there is the link if you guys want to sign up. And did I put it in there? Okay, there it is. Heal Awaken Align Bootcamp. All right, ladies expanding your vessel. When we are priming ourselves to receive, because this is all about being in your resistance free zone, if you want to fully access and receive what you have envisioned as your future self, so whatever it is, if you imagine having an object, um, if you imagine getting a new career, if you imagine um, having a new relationship, um, but if you're working with people, you want to be careful. You don't want to mess with their free will. So you can imagine certain scenarios with a person if you're already, let's just say you're already um, on the track to um, coupling with this person. Maybe you are calling in your ideal lover, life mate, partner, soulmate, twin flame, whatever that is. Maybe you are going into the feeling space of what that would feel like rather than focusing on a person if that makes sense. Because you don't want to force free will onto another person. That never works. So it's more about going into, if you're imagining a relationship, how do you want that relationship to feel? Okay. What do you want to um, tap into that makes you feel expanded, that makes you feel that, that, that first blush of love? Right. That's what you want to access. If you're trying to embody your future self and think about the new career that, as I mentioned earlier in um, the talk here, that promotion, right? That new position that you're up for, there are other candidates there, but you understand that you can imprint all of the essence of what that would feel like for you to be in that position, for you to be doing the day-to-day -day of that job. Go into that space of what that would feel like, you know, seeing the faces of those around you, those you delegate to, those, those that are part of your team, you talking to your boss, um, you taking a, 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 a meeting, right? Things like that. Go into as much detail as possible when you think about embodying your future self. Not only does that send a crystal clear message to the universe about what it is that you are creating, but it also puts you into that energetic of joy, which I did a talk the other day about the alchemy of joy. If you didn't watch that, you should tag that in here. You can just go into the search box and put in alchemy of joy. It's also on my YouTube page and on my podcast, I think. So you can access that there, there and listen to it. But joy is that energetic, when you think about where we are on an emotional spectrum, we can be anywhere. This here um, on the earth dimensional plane, we have an incredible emotional spectrum of experience. Going from the very, very lowest energies like anger, blame, and resentment, all the way up to the highest ones, which are obviously is pure love, right? Because there is no higher energy than love. And then there's joy, there's forgiveness, there's kindness, there's mercy and compassion. All of those are way up at the other end of the scale. When we think about joy, if we can access that place of joy or love, we are priming ourselves energetically to be in that place of receiving. We are in that resistance-free zone, okay? So when we are, it was really good. Oh, you're welcome, Carolyn. I'm glad you got to listen to that. When we are in that resistance-free zone, what's happening really is a rebalancing of energies. We are recalibrating to the energy of pure source, pure love and light. This is the place where pure creation, 
we tap into pure potential, this is where this all takes place. So the more we allow ourselves, and it's more about allowing rather than forcing, and I talk about that in my talk about the alchemy of, of joy, because we often feel like we beat ourselves up and we notice we're not in that place of joy, we're not in that place of expansion, we're like, why can't I just get there, duh, and we beat ourselves up, but we actually force ourselves further down the emotional spectrum and scale when we do stuff like that. So it's more about allowing joy. Joy is our natural state. Pure love and light is our natural state. Abundance is our natural state. So it's already there. It's already all around us. It's more about us being in that energetic where we just allow it to flow, okay? So this starts with giving ourselves permission to receive, giving ourselves permission to even allow something that's greater or full of more potential that feels more expanded than where we are right now. It's all about allowing that next level. It's all about knowing that, yes, I accept and I see what is, and I understand what is, but in that, we have to be able to say, I accept that, and I accept where I am in that with compassion and forgiveness, but I understand there is more. I understand there is expansion with on that, beyond that. I understand that I am a limitless being full of limitless potential in a limitless universe. And I am able to tap into that at any time I desire based on my allowance of it. Does that make sense? Give me a heart if you guys are following me. So we are basically preparing ourselves in every moment for the next moment. So if you want your next moment to be filled with joy, where do you think you'd have to be right now? If you want your next moment to be filled with abundance, your future self to be filled with abundance, your future self to be filled with love, your future self to be filled with expansion and light, where do you think that you should be right now? I, sh I hate the word should. <laughs> I don't hate it. I prefer, where would you like to be? Where do you choose to be right now? Where do you allow yourself to be right now? So think about your life in this way, that each now moment is a preparation for the next now moment. How do you want that string of now moments to then tell a story of your future, abundant, prosperous self. Think about it in that way. We often get mired in, well, here's where I am now, and it's because of my past. My dog likes to listen to my talks. It's because of my past that I'm here where I am, and it's because of my past that this is only where I can go. This is only as far as I'm willing to go because we're constantly looking to the past to inform our future. We're constantly looking to just what is right now and the confines, the rigid confines of that to inform what can be also. This is very limiting. Start thinking about what is available to you in this now moment. From seeing a contrast of what is, you can see what is available. So you have to think about it in this way, that in every moment there are two choices. You align with either fear or love. What action would you take based on your decision, because this is very important in the process, you must decide that once you choose, you decide to take a step in that path, in the direction of what you've chosen. So if you are choosing love in this moment, based on where you are right now, let's just say, do this for right now. Do this for an exercise for yourself right now. Based on where you are right now, what's, whatever is going on in your life right now, if you were to take a next step forward, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you go down and eat a pot of ice cream out of your freezer. It doesn't matter if you go out, go out and walk your dog. It doesn't matter if you go and journal about what you're really craving a solution to at this moment. I'm going to talk to you a second, in a second about solutions. It doesn't matter what your next step is. Ask yourself, am I aligning with fear or am I aligning with love? In this now moment, am I preparing my next moment with love? Am I preparing my next moment with joy? Am I preparing my next moment with fear? You get to choose. And please let there be no illusion about this whatsoever. Your life is not happening to you, it is happening for you. So if something is happening in your life that you are not too jazzed about right now, it is contrast. It is showing you contrast. From that enlightened place of seeing the contrast, you are able to make better decisions going forth that either align you with, with joy, abundance, love, light, yes? 
Okay. It's all about access, accessing the resistance-free zone. That's the place where you want to be. That is where it's at. Okay. And when we are in this resistance-free zone, no matter what you are working on in your life, no matter what challenges are facing you, no matter what issues you feel you need to overcome at this time, when you allow yourself more and more to be in that place of joy, your resistance-free zone, I don't care what it takes, looking at butterflies, I keep seeing Carolyn's um, butterfly here, and it makes me think of that's something that makes me feel joy. So it could be the littlest thing that you allow into your awareness that lets you feel joy. But the more you align with that energetic, you are able to come up with creative solutions. It is very, very difficult. I'm not going to say it never happens because I have been faced with some major adversity where solutions did come because it was, it was like a do or die type moment. And I've, I bet there's other, other ladies here who are watching who've been in that predicament. But 95 to 99 percent of the time, when you are in <clears throat> that resistance-free zone of joy, of love and light, of even if you can just allow yourself a bit of laughter, have someone tell you a joke, whatever that is, the second you align with that, you are in a resistance-free zone. The tough part is staying there. The drama of life will always pull you out, but you have to consciously make that choice to keep going back in, to keep going back into that alignment. But when you're there, that is your zone of creative inspiration, and that is where you come up with creative solutions to whatever problem you are facing. 95 to 99% of the time that is the case. When you are in that place of worry or panic or anxiety, you are not in a place of coming up with active, powerful, creative solutions to the problem at hand. It becomes very, very difficult to be objective in that space. You are accessing and expanding into full objectivity and solution creation mode when you are in your joy when you are in the energetic of the resistance free zone. Does that make sense? And we, we have to understand that <clears throat> when we wake up in the morning, before we let all of the, the, the chaos and the worry and the panic and the drama of the day and the density of our 3D experience of the day, when we wake up in the morning, we are in the most accessible solution free zone. <laughs> Please do, Carolyn, I love the butterflies. Right here, right now, love and joy, yes. Preparing your next moment for more love and joy. So that moment upon waking, we are in that resistance-free zone. We are naturally accessing, we just wake up to it, we do. You are in that place where creative solutions can come to you. So this is a time where it's very, very powerful for you to journal about, and I know that we live busy lives and it's not the, the easiest thing to do to journal, in the morning, but if you make it a priority to access or step into greater power in your life, to exponentially expand into greater abundance in your life, then you make this a priority. That's all I'm saying. Tough love. Take 10 minutes in your morning to journal. This is your resistance free zone that you naturally just access. And when you're used to being in this space, and allowing creativity to flow from you in this space by journaling or meditating, allowing yourself to be allowing abundant, infinite creative solutions to come in, you'll be surprised how much you want to just go back and access that all the time. And pretty soon that becomes your new normal. It becomes your natural go-to. It becomes your default. I'm, tr I'm telling you the truth. It's amazing. So when we're in this space as well, this resistance-free zone, you have perfect heart-mind unification, meaning, let's just say you access that um, solution-oriented place upon waking and you're journaling, so you're using your mind, but it is, you're taking that linear part of your reality, that physical realm part of who you are, which is your mental reasoning, your analysis, the mentality of who you are, and aligning that with what is in your heart. When you are also in that place of perfect heart-mind unification, you are, again, accessing limitless potential, limitless ways of creating new ways of being, accessing greater levels of long-lasting transformation in your life. This is what the Heal, Awake, and Align Bootcamp is all about, ladies. So if this is really making your ears perk up, you need to get in this course. It's going to be 
life-changing for you and there's going to be tools and resources that you can go back to again and again and there's also if you want me to post it um, I have 18 different energy activations that we're going to be doing together in Heal Awaken Align Bootcamp meaning I'll either be guiding you through them or you'll be able to access them um, as audio downloads so if you want me to post what those are going to be I'd be happy to share those with you so you can see what's actually going to be in the workshop in the Heal Awaken Align Bootcamp so that frequency of abundance when we align with that heart-mind unification allows us to tap into pure source energy. It allows us to tap into that part of ourselves that knows and understands our divinity, that we are a cosmic essence, and that we can tap into the infinite potential of that anytime we desire to do so, anytime we allow it to be. Because again, there's never any moment where we're separate from source. It's only the separation that we assign to it, we allow ourselves to believe. But we are never separate from source. And it's easy to think that we are because we're in a physical body and we have this dense energetic experience. But that's merely an illusion. Okay? All right. So expanding your vessel. Are there any questions about what I talked about? So I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this over the next two days and helping to break down this concept a little bit more of embodying your future self. So if you have questions at any time, please throw it in the comments. Um, if you want to start a thread on my Facebook business page, if you're watching on the business page, or if you want to um, start a thread in the Ascending Earth Creatrix Facebook group and ask me a question, please do. That's what these three days are all about. And if you have any questions about the Heal Awaken Align Bootcamp as well. So let's expand our vessel. Let's go into that place where we are accessing the frequency of abundance, where we are bringing in heart-mind unification, where we are opening up all of the energetic fields in and around the physical body so that we may be better, better receivers of the abundance that's already there, it's already, it's already all around us, it's already accessible, but we need to move into the energetic of accessing it. Okay, so just get yourselves comfy this takes about, oh, probably about 15 minutes or so. How are we doing on time here? Oh, 10.45. Perfect. Okay. You can be seated. You can be laying down. If you are seated, make sure you're in a comfy chair and feet flat on the ground so you have a nice grounding connection with, with Mama Earth. And when you're comfy, go ahead and close your eyes. And take a deep breath in and exhale. And do that one more time, taking a deep breath in, in through the nose, feeling the cool air come in through the nostrils. And as you exhale, the warm air exiting the nostrils. Becoming more aware of your physical body with each breath in and out and just allowing the breath to normalize, to come in evenly on the inhale and the exhale. Feeling the temperature of the room that you're in, feeling your hands on your lap or may, maybe you're laying down, you feel your hands with palms up open to the ceiling. Feeling your body seated in a chair, maybe you're leaning against the back of the chair, feeling your legs, making contact with the chair that you're in. Allowing yourself to become more and more aware of your physical presence in your body and in this moment, having full appreciation and gratitude for your physical body, being the only filter for your experience here at this time. I want you to imagine a shimmering diamond light all around you now. You may see it or experience it as a shower of diamond white light, sparkling and shimmering. Just feel that shift in your vibration 
as you become more aware of this diamond sparkling light, it is of the very, very, very high vibration of pure love and light. Showering your whole physical being, and imagine this enshrouding you now in a sphere. Let's just say going out about five feet around you in all directions, encircling your physical body. And as you take your next deep breath in, imagine pulling in this diamond white light, pulling it into the heart space, allowing this to expand within the heart and the lungs, filling up the entirety of your physical being, saturating every cell, all of your DNA in this diamond white light. This is the light of pure source energy washing through you, cleansing every cell, every atom of your body in God's light. Now allowing your energy to expand back into this bubble, this sphere of diamond white light that is about five feet in diameter. 360 degrees all around you. And just checking to see what's in this sphere. Just noticing any areas that feel heavy or tense, tight or constricted. You may even see like gray, cloudy energy. Any area where this light is less than vibrant, less than clear, just checking in. And if you are noticing any of those areas, you're not placing any value judgment on it. You're simply, see, simply noticing and simply accepting that that is there. And then using your breath as the vehicle for your intention, send the breath there to cleanse this energy. You may see in your mind's eye like a little like a little dust brush, maybe moving away or sweeping away that energy. You may see a blast of diamond white light coming in to rebalance and recalibrate that energy so that it matches the rest of the energy of the sphere and this very high vibration frequency. And when that feels complete, go ahead and expand this vessel out. Let's say 10 feet out all around you, 360 degrees in all directions, an even sphere of energy expanding. And breathe into this expansion, stay with the body. Stay with the breath to allow you to be, sometimes when we do this energy work, we want to go out of the body. I want to keep you in the body Staying with the breath to keep you expanded along with this energy. To calibrate along with this higher vibration as it expands outward. And then again, just checking into the sphere, noticing if there are any energies that are not aligned with this vibration. And again, just sending the breath to that area. We are expanded now in your emotional body, your emotional energetic field around the body. So you may be noticing any emotions or feelings that may come up in your physical being. You may feel something in your belly, in your arm. Simply allowing for the breath, again, to be used as your vehicle for intention. Send the breath there to heal, clear, release, any tight or stagnated, stuck energy, and simply allowing that to be cleansed and dissolved in the very high energetic of this di diamond light in this sphere. And staying with the breath, not holding the breath. Sometimes we do this expansion, we wanna hold the breath, 
Make sure you are breathing evenly and calmly throughout. And then when this feels complete, go ahead and expand this sphere out even further, going about 25 feet now out in all directions, 360 degrees around the body, creating an even sphere of this white diamond light. Expanding out into the auric field. Noticing any colors, any dense or heavy energy within this sphere now. Again, just noticing, not placing any value judgment on it, not going in for further inquiry at this point. That's not what this is for. But simply allowing for the breath to be used as a vehicle int for intention to dissolve this energy, to clear it and release it from the auric field, letting it dissolve into the pure source vibration of this diamond white light. And when once again you've created an even energetic Go ahead and expand this sphere of light out further. About 40 feet outside of the physical body, expanding out 360 degrees in all directions now. Expanding out now and imagining or, or seeing anywhere you are connecting with any heavy, dense, or tight energy, anywhere the energetic feels off or needs to be recalibrated, sending the breath there once again to dissolve or sweep away this energy. And when that feels complete, going ahead and expanding this out much further. Let's just say out to 60 feet. And if this feels too big, expanding this out in all directions, 60 feet around the body, seeing some of you holding some resistance to this. Again, go back into the breath, connect with your heart space, and expand the sphere out from the heart, because you're holding the purest concentration of this source vibration in the heart and just allow that to ripple outward into the whole sphere 60 feet out in all directions around the physical being. It'll send out a full recalibration ripple to the whole sphere, allowing you to feel more at home into this expansion. feels better. And again, noticing where any energy feels like it's not a good fit. It's ready to be released, healed or cleansed, sending the breath. You have the power to do this within you. You are connected to the pure source energy here, allowing this to be swept and cleansed and dissolving this in the diamond light. And now expanding this energy out even further, going out to about 80 feet around the physical body, 360 degrees in all directions, expand, expanding the sphere of light. Again, if it feels too big, if it feels too expansive, go into the heart space. This is where you're holding the pu purest concentration of source energy and simply allow this with the breath, if you want to use that, allow it to ripple out, re-energizing, recalibrating the fullness of the sphere in the white diamond light, pure source energy, pure love and light, pure creation. And staying with the breath here for a few moments while you allow yourself to physically fully recalibrate to this new energetic space, to this vibration, letting this vibration just become familiar to you, 
This is an important process of integration that needs to happen for the mental body so that this feels safe to be in this level of expansion, so that it feels familiar to be in this level of expansion. So just allow yourself to kind of marinate in this beautiful pool of energy, this beautiful diamond white light of pure love, light, and creation. You can even imagine yourself calling in new forms of abundance New forms of abundance that up till now have been tethered to an imagination that was not expanded to this degree. When we tap into this level of expansion, we also broaden our perception of what can be, of what is possible. We tap into the limitless potential of our imagination, which is our true unfiltered connection with God, Source, whatever you want to call it. This is where we access limitless solutions to problems. We are creators that came here to create. We love the process of creating. That includes sometimes creating our own problems because we love to create solutions to those problems. We love to create in any way, shape, or form. So understand that you have perhaps created some problems in your life, accept that with love and compassion, and accept that from this newly expanded space, you are coming up with more imaginative and creative solutions to these problems now than have ever been available to you before. And so it is, creative changes. And taking a deep breath in, accepting that awareness, accepting this act which seems so small and benign in this moment, that is a profound step in your spirits and soul's evolution. Accept that you are a limitless creator. You create beyond the confines of what can be seen or known or accepted by 3D reality. You are a multidimensional manifester. You are creating new ways of being simply by this being part of your journey right now. You are creating new ways of being that have gone beyond what you could have possibly imagined before this moment in time. Accept that as part of your divine soul's blueprint, your divine inheritance as goddess in a body, that you hold seed source energies within you to create ways of being that are aligned with your desires and to allow yourself while in this space to fully and completely receive them. Take a deep breath in. Feel into the far reaches of this space now as you expand this 100 feet around you in all directions. Feel how easy it is now to expand into this space 100 feet around you. See how this energy feels more familiar to you. You are truly remembering your divine inheritance. You remember that as an infinite being, you are just tapping into something you already know. You are reawakening, rediscovering who you already are. Take a deep breath in. Accepting this with love and compassion and forgiveness. And now gently begin to pull this energy back, pulling this sphere all the way back into the heart space. And imagine this diamond light, now maybe just a pinpoint of light, or maybe it's still a large sphere in your heart space, however you see it or imagine it is perfect and right for you. Allow for a singular column of energy now to extend downward through the body, going through the body and out through the soles of the feet, connecting with all the layers of the earth as you extend down through dirt and rock and crystal, all the way down to the crystalline core of Mother Earth, and allowing this column of energy to root 
to connect deeply into the heart chakra of Gaia. You are connected to the heart space of Gaia from your heart space of your present self. Feel the seamless connection and allow for the grounding of all of these energies that you have accessed here today seamlessly, easily, effortlessly. Grounding all of this energy down into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. Fully allowing yourself to recall, reuse this energy whenever you desire. Using this as a spiritual tool for your expansion and growth here at this time while you are in a physical 3D form. And now gathering this beautiful, pristine energy of Gaia, this grounding connection, pulling it all the way back up, going back into the heart space, taking it all the way up to the top of your head, and allowing yourself to gently, energetically disconnect from this transmission now. All right. That was fun. Make sure that you are grounded fully. So it's very easy to ground your energy. If you are seated in a chair, just feel that connection. It doesn't matter if you're 10 floors up in an apartment building. Feel that grounding connection with your feet touching the floor. And just imagine, or maybe sometimes you can even hear that hum of energy of the earth, the earth vibration, the earth resonance. Just let it rise up through your feet and throughout the entirety of your physical being up to the top of the head so you feel grounded. Um, you may want to sip on some water. We did some a little bit of healing and releasing here. So filtering out the toxins physically is very important. Drink and flush with water. I'm so glad, Svetlana. I'm so glad that you could join me live. Thanks for staying up. And what a great way for you to go to bed now. <laughs> Expanded in this energy. You can do the expanding your vessel exercise anytime you wish. Sometimes we feel like we're not supported by the universe. The universe doesn't have our back. Um, things are happening to us rather than for us. If you need to make that divine connection with source, this is a beautiful way to do that. And to become more familiar with that divine essence that lives within you. Remember, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. So sometimes we forget that level of connection. So again, this is a beautiful way to anchor that in. And it reminds you that you are source, you are a goddess in a body, um, that you are infinite joy and love and light right where you are right now. It's just your choice whether you choose to access that or not. Wonderfully expansive, thank you. You are so welcome. So again, ladies, if you have any questions about anything I talked about, anything I shared here today, please do put it in the comments. If you're watching in the replay, make sure you put in hashtag replay. If you are wanting to check out more about Heal, Awaken, Align Bootcamp, we start on June 4th, which is a Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you can't be there live, although I'd prefer it and so would you, we do record all the calls, so they are available. There is a Facebook group where we will have all of the embodiment exercises posted, plus I always do bonus activations. Anyone who's ever taken a class with me, you know I always over-deliver. So that is true of this course as well. There's always extras, there's always bonuses. Plus, when you sign up now at the full price of $7.97, you pay at the full price, you get the bonus free lifetime access of the 85 plus activations that are in Heal, Awaken, Align, or excuse me, Heal, Awaken, Ascend Mastermind, which I've been teaching, teaching since last July. So there's, I think, even more than 90 activations at this time. So it's an incredible value. It's probably over a $700 value. That's a modest estimation. And you will have the two-hour money mastermind that I'm offering as a bonus as well. So there's lots of bonuses, so many great things to take advantage of if you sign up now. And I do always offer a VIP package, which is all of this, plus a 90-minute one-on-one session with me. And that one is, I'm offering it a bonus of $9.97 if you wanted that. So ladies, love and light. See you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Bye-bye.